Uh, hey, what's going on? In this video, I want to talk about how to trick a slot machine. That way, you can tip the odds to your favor so you can win cash. Okay, now before I, I begin, down below, there's a link in that description. And if you do click on that bad boy, uh, there's actually training on what I truly believe to be the most important skill to learn um, if you want to market a product or service online in a digital world. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I did read a while ago that there's only really two games you could win money at in the casino if you continue to play it over and over again and don't get up. Okay, that's why there's no clocks at casinos because they know that they don't want you to leave. They want their money back. But those two games would be uh, blackjack and poker. There's a skill set. And if you get the right skill set, you can treat it like a job and go back and just make money. Uh, the rest of the games, you're going to go broke uh, eventually because the odds are not in your favor. Now then you do win, right? Now with slot machines, you kind of know already the machine, the, the odds are just against you. Um, and I have this neighbor who just, he just keeps going back to slot machines because it's like an ego thing. He's just like pissed off at losers and he wants to go back and win. I don't know. It's not the smartest thing. Now since the machine is kind of rigged against you, have you ever had this fantasy of like, well, shit, what if I just rigged that system so that my odds were in my favor and I get revenge on the slot machine that took my damn money, right? Uh, now, obviously, I'm somewhat joking because if you do tamper with a slot machine, I believe it's like a federal like offense or something, and you're going to get some jail time and get in trouble and yada, 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 yada. Uh, it's, to me, these are kind of interesting because they're like cat and mouse games, right, where you have... You know, someone figuring out how to cheat the system, and then the, the developers and makers putting up defenses to stop the cheating, and then the cheater try to figure out some other way, and they put up defenses. <laughs> um, anyways, now the oldest way to cheat the system that came out, some guy figured out that if you put a string on a quarter and you stick it down a slot machine, you could play the game, and then you just kind of yank the quarter right back out, so that you're in essence, gambling with no money, there's no risk involved, and you can hit the jackpot and win money, right? Uh, that was the first way to cheat the system, and then, of course, they figured out a way to stop that, and that was done for. Uh, then came the money pot, where someone figured out if you stick a rod up the, the jackpot chute, you could trick the machine and pay out a lot more money. So developers adapted, right? They took that system out, they had a little light in there, and then it came the light uh What's it called? Yeah, the light thing, light rod, uh, optical piece. Yeah. So how the scam worked is, you know, you go, you find some bar where in the middle of the day where nobody was at, and you go in there. Uh, maybe you had some hot girl distract the bartender because he was the one working there. He don't, you don't want that guy looking at what you're doing. And then you would go in there and you stick this damn rod up the, the the machine. And they would trick it and pay out all this money. Now, of course, you just have to hope there's no cameras or something, right? <laughs> so it's pretty damn risky and you get some big jail time for it. Um, then came the computers, right? How do you trick that damn thing? Well, one guy decided that you could actually drill a hole in the damn compu uh, machine. You stick a lot, it's a can of Freon, just freeze the shit out of the computer. And it just get all messed up and just spit out a whole bunch of money. Kind of like if I'm drinking and I'm all fucked up, I don't know what I'm doing, I start spitting out money too, like, here you go, <laughs> I'm all messed up, uh, so yeah, that's one way you can do it too. Now, the problem is it's hard to be covert and secretive when tampering with slot machines. Now, the smartest way uh, really goes, I think, to a group of Russians who really figured some stuff out, and they were known to hit these casinos and win all these huge jackpot money, and they couldn't figure it out. The feds were, people, the you know, developers, the, the owners, feds were looking at them, like, what the hell are they doing? They were pretty smart, right? Um, now, the funny, now, the things were kind of odd about these Russians. One, they kept looking at their phones while they were playing the uh, slot machines, which is in itself not a crime, but it's a little bizarre. Um, they would hit the same make and model of slot machines, which was a little odd. Uh, plus, they were betting strange. Uh, they would bet the least over and over again. And all of a sudden, they would go max bet, and for Matt, you know, they just won. Every time they hit max bet, like, bam, they just won. You're like, wow, are these guys lucky? You know? 
Uh, turns out the machines were not Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. They were computers. They weren't tampering with the machines. Uh, so they couldn't really be hacked in a lot of ways. So how did the Russians figure out these slot machines and keep winning? You know, because you can't be like, well, we got these Russians. You know, the judge and jury is not going to convict Russians from using their phone and hit the same make and model and everything, right? There's no crime against that. So what did they do? Well... Turns out, one of these one person figured out how to predict the machine what it was going to do. So you see, computers are very good at random stuff. You know, they take orders, ones and zeros, ones and zeros. They take orders. So what they do to create random stuff um, is they create a seed number, which is very big. The bigger, the better. And they give it a math formula, and it would spit out another number, uh, which kind of makes the well, not completely unpredictable, but a lot more random, okay? So what the Russians did is they purchased that make and model, and they just watched the damn thing to, to recognize a pattern of what, and they figured out the pattern of the map of how it would spit out these uh, winning numbers. So they put that information in the app, and they would go to these that same make and model, and they just record what the slot machine was doing. And, you know, on the app and the symbols, and it go to some server that went back to Russia, and it would match it up, and it would tell them, okay, it's not going to win, it's not going to win, it's not going to win. Okay, based on what happened in the past, the next time it's going to win, based on the last code or number that put out, which was the symbols. So they would go max bet, and sure enough, it's not rocket science, it's, it's a pattern, it's a history, and, and it would win. And they, you know, get a bunch of money reverse engineered it uh now obviously since they got they, the feds figured it out and now if you and there's still believe it or not a thousand one of these make some models around uh but uh the feds and figures uh figure it out and if you try to do that then yeah there's a, they they know that if you're on a, you're a machine if you're on a phone and you got that slot machine make a model there's a good chance you could you'd be using that whole scam thing going on i thought it was kind of a funny scam uh, but if you think about it, it really wasn't hacked, these slot machines. It's almost like they were watched, almost like a, a, a football team, right? And you watch your competitors film over and over again. You could see these patterns, and then you could play against them. Same way as the stock market, which is probably a whole lot better than these slot machines. Uh, like how Warren Buffett learned from, what was his name? The value investor, Ben Graham. Yeah, Ben Graham and how Ben Graham had his whole system, and he would they would he would just sit there all day long and look at companies, and there's a pattern, and he could he figured out the system and would go max bet on a few companies, uh, like Geico and everything. I think he sees candy or something, and then he would win a bunch of money too. Much more legal and much more better than probably gambling in a lot of ways. Which is if you think about it, the stock market is somewhat of a gamble itself. But anyways. Um, yeah, just some cool thing that I, I, I learned about I want to share with you. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. You can share it. Um, if you are interested in uh, making money online, maybe there's a service you want to sell, a product to serve, drop shipping, affiliate marketing, internet marketing, anything on the side. Because let's face it, I mean, these nice, secure, safe jobs, they're just hard to find nowadays. It's not like the 1950s or 70s or whatever. My daddy worked at a manufacturing plant forever made a shitload of money and got a pension, you know, all this crazy stuff. That's, that's, those jobs are not easy to find anymore, you know. If you have, find a good one like that, then shit, that's good for you. But um, it is always good to kind of make money on the side because um, you don't know what's going to happen, you know. I mean, I've worked at a job and I didn't get one complaint. It was at some restaurant. Next thing you know, they're like, hey, you're, you're fired, man. I was out. Um so it's kind of an empowering feeling to make money on the side, side hustle kind of a thing. And uh, if you're going to sell anything online, now it's everything, right? Everything's online nowadays. You got to learn how to convert clothes, attention into a, a dollar, into a sale. Because that really is everything. Without that, nothing matters. Um, plus, there's a lot of work to do after that first sale, which a lot of people don't know. There's a skill set to learn. It's challenging. 
And that's the way you short-term that learning curve is by learning the skill set from somebody who's really good. Uh, if you click that link below, it's a very, uh, that guy is very good, uh, a whole lot better than me. Um, and he definitely, has been, he's got a proven track record of working. So learning that pattern, <laughs> I'm starting to think of it like the slot machine pattern recognition and that code uh, is going to be, is, is, Obviously, it's going to help a lot. I wish I would learn that when I was in online marketing a long time ago. Anyways, uh, I wish you the best. Have a very wonderful rest of your day, and bye for now.